<coughs> Fuck. <coughs> This is part 2 of the Castlevania 2 and the tutorial, and this time we will be covering the Dracula's Heart Split. Here we go. Practice this session, make sure not to fall down. It's not super hard, but just practice it to be on the safe side. It will cost a lot of health and time if you mess it up. These two you can kill however you want, that's how I do it. There are many versions of killing them. If you are good on health and hearts up to this point, you can just take the damage boost here on the next screen. One, two. Or, if you, like me most times, don't have that many hearts, just kill them. Jump during transition. Jump off that, kill that, kill this one. Whip during transition here. Kill this one here. Kill this one here. Now, if you can grab that spider kill, uh, wait for him to get lower down first. Basically, that is the optimal way of killing him, like I just did, without slowing down. But it's not like you have to do it, it's just faster. Adjust movement accordingly for what you feel is safe for you. But that was a pretty good session for me. Stairs reset, so we are gonna do a drop here. Don't do any jumps, don't do any whips, just walk. Talk to this boy. He will exchange the white crystal for the blue one, which is something we do need for progress generally. So you have to do it. Make sure to... I think it is press B only, like the whip button, to close this down. Yeah, it's the B button. Jump up, jump down, jump up, do the thing. And... Whoops, we messed up. So what happened there? If you transition to a new screen while the camera is still not in position like it is right now, stuff like that can happen. So what you want to do is make sure that the camera is in position before you transition to the next screen. So don't, don't be too hasty. Take your time. See now the camera isn't moving, we can actually jump to the next screen. Land, kill. And we're gonna do a setup here already for the next floor drop. So don't do, like, a whip in the air. And definitely do not get hit by enemies. Because uh, that would mess you up for the subpixel. So from where you land, just jump into the screen. Land, whip, land, whip, land, whip. Boom. Boom. That's the setup. That, that's, that's the thing. So now we can do this drop right here. And we missed it. Uh, we're gonna try to be doing the optimal one here just for showcasing. There it is, pretty much. So, on that one, we beat the skeleton. Uh, if we were fast enough. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait for him and do it. Whatever you do, just don't. Like, don't panic and just get hit by it. Because now we mess up the subpixel and we can't do the drop anymore. So, if that happens, you're pretty much gonna lose 25 seconds taking the stairs down here. It's a massive time loss. Definitely make sure that whatever you do, don't get hit by the skeleton. Because this, this is going to make you cry. Uh, the optimal way, of course, is getting it done before he reaches there. But if you can't do it, don't, don't hesitate, don't panic. Because you don't want to reset here. You can actually jump off uh, from this platform as soon as you do the floor drop. So nothing is going to kill you there. Jump between there, kill that one, grab that one, kill, grab, jump. So next up we're gonna cover the speed boost. <clears throat> this is a relatively new technique that Burb uh, found out some month ago. 
I think uh, it probably saves one to two seconds per boost you can get. You can do them here uh, two times now because we're going into the heart mansion two times back because we're gonna come back from the heart mansion here. So that's four bo boosts total. Um, there, you can also do it later on. We will cover that as well. But for now, we will cover this session. The input for this is frame perfect. And it reminds you of the floor drops, but it is not the same. For the floor drops, you need to press the whip one frame after you walk off the edge. Here you're gonna press the jump button instead of the whip, but you also need to press it after one frame after you release the D-pad input. So for the floor drops, it's pretty much tap in between the two and press one frame after you tapped the D-pad. Here is one frame after you released that D-pad. So it's similar, but it is different. If you practice it, you will get a feel for it. I'm not good at it, but I will showcase it. We got it. Twice, that was, that was perfect. Let's, okay, I'll take that. Uh, and this, this murders screen right here. Uh, whatever you do, definitely just don't do this. I, I've seen people kill runs this way. I'd kill it myself that way. Another thing I discovered for me personally is uh, this screen used to kill me for absolutely no reason at all. And I found out why. The reason for this is because during transition there, uh, I was holding right on the D-pad as I was rolling my thumb without actually letting go. I was rolling my thumb from the right D-pad to the down D-pad. And the game does still recognize that as it's holding right, resulting in actually killing me. Uh, there it actually didn't, but usually it does there. So you actually need to physically create some space and let go of the D-pad inputs during transition for it not to kill you. So you walk, let go, hold right, uh, I mean down. And this will only be taking us to the next area if you have the blue crystal equipped. Uh, if you have followed my tutorial, you should have white crystal equipped since pretty much exiting the first town. So you don't need to go to the menu right now and re-equip it, it should be equipped by default. And this is the first mansion. Now these enemies can be semi-random, but it shouldn't be too bad. Get used to them. Uh, there's not much to explain, honestly. If you take the damage, it's, it's not the end of the world. Just get a feel about them. The knight can screw you over. Uh, but it's nothing too fancy. Here you can jump whip. To be safe, you can also just normally jump, it really depends on you. Uh, there's no point not to jump whip to be on the safe side, because it's a tight jump. So I would recommend doing it. Uh, these walls are completely fake, so don't worry about like hitting your head or anything. Just go through them. Always, always go for that kill right here. Uh, it's super free, just jump over from here. Or here, or here. I mean, it's really, you cannot fail this. It looks scary as hell, but I've never had that fail, ever. And you can see how many attempts I've done. So d don't be scared about that. Now this trick is very technical. Uh, see if we can find the correct pixel. I think that is actually the wrong pixel. I think that should work, let's hope so. I will be providing two um, pictures in the description down below for what pixel works. And you have two pixels for the setup of this. And once you stand in the correct position here, jump up and just walk off the uh, Tetris. And then you want to try optimally to jump off the platform here in a one frame trick. But we're going to showcase three different uh, scenarios. One, you were too late on the input for jumping, it pushes you down. Okay, what happens now? 
Well, you can still. Huh! But now we cannot get the oak stake from the investor here. And likewise, if you got the quick warp, which I will cover, like I did here, you actually are fucked because you teleport to the next area. So you cannot get the oak stake now. That's a reset of the run there. The run is dead because this is like minutes of time lost. The second scenario, if you jumped but wasn't on the frame perfect, get the oak stake, press left, wait, it's not teleporting. Shit, I messed up. So there's a backup for this. Just jump up here, jump up here. Boom. You see the visual cue for me here is the window on the right, or the bars, whatever. I see two full black squares. I do not see the beginning of the third one. So this is a good visual cue for me. I know I'm gonna make it. Uh, if you're... We're gonna showcase the other one, I suppose, to, But get the oak stake, get the backup if you didn't get the quick warp after getting the oak stake. Just hold left and you're good to go. Uh, we're gonna showcase if you don't get the good lineup here. Sh uh, showcase you a bad visual cue. Like here for instance. That will kill me because uh, you can see clearly the third row of black squares. So that's definitely gonna kill me. So that's a good visual. And if you do this perfectly, 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 it's a one frame trick, so it's real hard to pull off. But basically, get the oak stake. I didn't get it. No. <laughs> Super annoying. This is basically world record strats. It is something you can hope to get. Uh, but it's ne not necessarily going to happen every run. It's uh, There's no consistency. There we go. So that's the quick warp. If you get it, it saves 10 seconds. So it's, it's worth going for at least trying. Um, but there's no good visual cue for when to jump off uh, to get that perfect frame. So this is going to be a lot of practice from your end of the bargain because um, if you're too late, you're pretty much fucked. The run is dead. Uh, if you're too early, you can still save it with the backup. But just make sure you get the oak stake. Definitely don't let the block push you down the platform. Because if it happens, you have to reset. So practice, 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 practice. If you want to be on the safe side, just jump early and get the oak stake and just use the backup. It's super safe. But it's a, a 10 second time loss from optimization. Right. Once here, you can just walk off here if you want to. You can try to jump, which doesn't really do shit, quite frankly. You could do a drop. Or, if you're a god, you can do a double drop. There we go. That is, again, it's, this time, it's, the timing for this one is different from the one we did, uh, collecting the chain whip, because the space in between these blocks here are different. So the timing is not the same, uh, so that's something you have to learn. Likewise, if you do miss the double drop, uh, I think getting it is like 15 to 20 second time save. So it's it's huge. It's huge. You can see the time lost here otherwise. Uh, don't expect to get it. If you do, uh, be fucking happy. <coughs> it's great. Uh, but even world record attempts is having really, really hard times trying to get this in every run. So don't expect it to happen uh, on every run, it's, it's not. And once again, 
Uh, let the cam camera get aligned again before you jump to the next transition here. So this is looking really funny, I know. And you're thinking, okay, well, we're fucked, right? No. Just tap the jump button. Generally twice, sometimes three times. But make sure your feet are aligned with this platform right here. Toss a holy water and just kill the knight. Get out. You can screw that up and I'm not gonna cover what happens when you do. But if you do, it's hella bad. So make, make sure you don't tap the jump button there too much. Right, so we just touched the stairs. So that's a setup for the next drop here. Just... And bop your head. Menu to the right. Jump up, jump up, toss it. That is generally where I split. Jump down, jump down. And do the drop. And that's the setup for getting out here. Make sure, again, that you don't mess that up, because holy shit, if you do, seriously. And I guess you take the stairs up there, and you, like, go right about there, and it's like a massive time loss. Definitely don't screw this drop up. You have to get it. There we go. And then, just same as before, pretty much. This time we hold right, it's, uh, there's a little bit more leeway on this one. The visual cue for this one is... I mean, what I have right now is pretty good. Pretty good. Chat says, mention to never throw the oak stake in mid-air. The oak stake being what we crush that crystal orb with to grab the heart. Uh, if you miss that toss, you're fucked, you're gonna have to get another oak stake, generally that's a reset, the run is dead. Uh, because not only did you waste 50 hearts on that because you missed the oak stake toss, um, you're gonna have to backtrack, probably grind for those hearts again, get the oak stake, get back to the crystal, and try again. So, yeah, you can miss tossing the oak stake. So, if you wanna play it safe, just toss it from where you stand on the ground, don't toss it from air. I've never missed it, but I've, I've seen runs generally getting killed by just that mistake. So the visual cue here, pretty sure is good. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna hold right. Yes. So you can try that yourself, it's really easy to exit that mansion. And then just boom. Kill that one, kill that one. Kill that one, and bad pattern, then swag jump, get a swag jump. So we are pretty much done with the uh, heart mansion there. That is part two of the tutorial. Uh, chat also says, hello Burb. Burb is uh, one of the few people actually having the option to get world record. So he knows the game boys. Apparently, if you do toss the oak stake in air as well, it messes with your subpixel. <clears throat> Basically, the game recognizes it as a whip in the air, so it will mess up the subpixel, which will mess up the floor drop leaving that heart mansion after grabbing the heart. So the general rule that we learned here today, that even I didn't know, don't even remotely consider tossing an oak stake in air. It's not good for you. Right, so that's a little bit more trivia for those who want to learn the game. On that note, that is part two. Next time we will be covering the second mansion, but that is it for now. And 